you're starting a new job as a manager, there's a meeting you have to have on day one and there's a meeting you have to have on day seven with your sales team. Day one, you want to explain who you are and why you chose the company. So just give a little overview of your background, what you care about, and the results that you've driven personally so they feel like, okay, you're legit. Make sure that you're not a, you're not like overly stiff. Just be real. Um, what they care about is that you're going to help them with operational stuff. Like what they really care about is like, can you get me out of this meeting? I don't want to be in the stupid field I got to fill out. So tell them that and also make sure that they're really clear even out a story about how you want to help rep. So like, I'm a helper. I'm going to help you with, with you know, all the BS and also like I'm legit. Then you want to go over to what your expectations are of them. So you want to say like how your expectations of yourself and your own personal value so they understand you better. And you want to make sure that you have a high level of um, expectations for respect, humbleness, and helpfulness. These are all things anybody would want to have. In here, this is kind of interesting. You want, right now, they're, they're sort of panicking. Like, hey, what's your deal? Are you going to be easy or hard to work for? So you don't want to say, like, screw you guys. But you do want to say, like, this is going to be hard. You know, I'm not going to be easy on you. People also do like working for someone who who holds himself to a high standard and where things are hard because it means they're going to be stretched. And then finally, you want to explain what you're going to do. So this is going to be basically your 30, 60, 90, but break it down just to the 14 and 30 day plan. So they know what the hell you're doing. Make sure you let them know it's all subject to change so they don't like hold you to something and you have to change it. And then they're like, well, why'd you change your plan? You just let them know ahead of time you're going to change your plan. Um, let them know that they're you're not going to be available super in the beginning because people are going to be like, hey, he's not really available. But like you're probably working on a bunch of stuff in the first week or two. And then make sure that you do leave some time for questions, but not too much time because they're going to ask a lot of things that are really specific. And that specific, those specific questions, you probably won't have answers to. Like for part two, where I'll go over the second meeting if they have the team.